Trapmore gang, we are back with another video and we're back with a guest once again, Blah. my boy Honcho. Glad on people. Let him know, man. Let him know. Bro, I'm here with I'm here with my boy. Come on. We've got, we've got to give you some more fire content. You lot are loving it, so we're back. You were back feeling again. it. You were feeling yeah, it. The comments were it. hard. Wait, let, let's have a look. Let's have a look. <laughs> Very quick. Bring the homie on more. He was chill, bro. They think you're chill. I am chill. You're chill. Yeah, I feel chill. like you're, you're living up to that, bro. Yeah, you're living saying, up to I'm that. Definitely chill. Collab with dude more often. This is a vibe, bro. That's feeling it. You made it, man. You made it. You're regular now. <laughs> we need more head hand <laughs> head show, <laughs> bro. I've never seen someone spell it that way. Hand shows your uh, your Mexican equivalent, right? <laughs> it's the Mexican drill, bro. Head hand show. And stop fucking saying I look like T Grizzly. Who else? Schoolboy Q. What the fuck, bro? That's kind of an insult, man. I'll be real. I'd rather be T Grizzly than Schoolboy Q. He fell off a little. Oh, man, is I didn't have. I didn't have my beard shaved on that, and I was looking like school, Schoolboy Q, bro. It's me. Nah. <laughs> like Schoolboy. Damn. Bro. But look, we are today here, people, to talk about something very specific. I discovered a hip hop gem. Is it safe to say that I kind of passed this little scene, this little pocket of? information onto you because yeah without doubt bro yeah yeah yeah, yeah. I, I wouldn't have known who these well i knew who the rat is yeah <laughs> the rat, we all know who the rat can't escape I know, I know who the rat is but at the same time the other person yeah without doubt you defo defo put it onto me and it's i'm very glad you did because it's fire content so basically right me and honcho we basically we're homies all right you know you we, we're hanging out oh, beyond just this little this little segment that's going on here okay we're, we're out here and often what we're doing is we're meeting up and we're binging fucking steve will do it videos basically oh, okay man, i love it man Bro, do you ever get sometimes where you, I don't, this might be a bit weird, but like, do you ever get it with sometimes the videos you get a little bit emotional, bro? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, bro, you know what? I get emotional when they end, because I'm like, bro. Oh, no, that, that's like, fact. Bro, but like, Steve's you, over. You know, like, they've got it so well with like, when he's buying someone something and they put the music on and everything's all sad. I, I feel a young tear cooking up sometimes, <laughs> young bro. I'll tear. be real. <laughs> a little tear, you know, a little young tear. Bro, this one, bro, this one where he, bu he buys the guy who killed Bin Laden a truck. That's I crazy. Never, never would have thought I'd have got emotional seeing a guy that, that length <laughs> Bin Laden in bro, the face. Bro, that's fire clickbait as well. Fire, bro. Fire clickbait. It's legit. You're the bravest man get, I've ever met. Get the fuck out of here right now. Yeah, so. yeah, it's, it's coming. It's coming, Robert. Let him I finish. Wanna, I want to give you this truck. I was like, man, this guy, you know, he's a he's a patriot. He served his country. Killed Bin Laden. Killed Bin Laden, bro. He deserves a truck, man. Steve made it happen. Kind of deserves more than a truck. Does deserve but more Steve than a truck. don't have to fucking give that. To, that's why he's bro. so cool for it because it's like why someone else should be doing that, but Steve's like let me do it, and that's that's what's cool about it. He's doing more than Biden, bro. Steve could be the next president. Facts. Steve, twenty twenty four. That's a good idea, though, would it? I mean, it would be a disaster. It'd be, be fun, bro. It'd be fucking lit. Think of the to views. Watch. <laughs> Think of the views, bro. But anyway, the deal is, okay, I, I basically just want to explain this from start to finish because Steve will do it. Kyle from the Nelk Boys fucking discovered Steve will do it. Sees him drinking mad alcohol on Instagram. Basically invites him into the Nelk Boys. He starts his own channel, which is this video where he says he's going to launch his channel. And bro, ever since this, this guy's just gone clear. Bro, he gained, um, I think it was a million subs in a month. Imagine, man. A million, million subs, subs in, a in a month, month bro. In a month. A Crazy. mil in a month. I think he's going to be bigger than Nelk. I love the Nelk videos, but I'm I'm on a Nelk video for him. Yeah, without doubt, for bro. I'm I would not Steve. be watching Nelk if it weren't for Steve. No chance. No chance. Like, bro. now I get it, but it was him that made me want to... I've w watched all his content, so I'm like, I need something. I need something. I'm cutting out for something else. Bro. Then, closest thing to it is that. I'm a Steve fiend. So the real gem, obviously, if you look through Steve's videos, there's no shortage of crazy shit. Look, he's eating 30 in and out burgers, 4,500 milligrams of THC edibles. <laughs> Fuck me. He's a madman. I, I probably can't even show you many of these clips, so we can't even react to a lot of this. He's just out here wiling out, basically. 200 nuggets. Hottest wings. Crazy. Everything on the McDonald's menu. The world's biggest joint. But anyway, at a certain point, right, he, he seemingly got a little bit sick slash, I guess just, you can't eat fucking the world's biggest pizza and drink a giant 50,000 White Claws forever. Fuck that. So at a certain point, instead of uh, instead of drinking mad alcohol, he starts giving people money. Yeah, and cars, money, out cars. cars, fucking, just hella cars really, I guess, isn't it? Hella money and cars. So we got him, he's given and houses. Out, he's given his mum a range, he's given his best friend a Roly. I swear he's bought over 10 people at Tesla, They're just random people. Bro, I've seen an episode of him where he he literally wakes up in a car at a car lot and he's like, we're gonna go buy this guy a car. And he's just fucked, goes and buys this guy a car. Doesn't he say in one of his videos, he's a, he owns the, like, the record for, for buying people Teslas. He's bought the most Teslas for the most people, right? No, he definitely, he, de he bought one for David, blah, 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 blah. David Dobrik, yeah, yeah, he bought, David one, Dobrick. For him. He bought, bought one for him the other day. He's a mad lad, basically. He's a legend, he does mad shit, he drinks crazy alcohol, he gives away hell of stuff. But at a certain point, I can't fathom why this would even happen, uh, obviously for clout. He's linked up with the super rat, 6 9 mm. Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, bud. How do you feel? 
I feel powerful. Can I get the fuck on? <laughs> you got a chill out there. Bro, what's good, bud? Oh, 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 no. <laughs> Steve's the type to like blow his own house up. Bro, it must be so difficult being his friend. Like just constant anxiety. Bro. Like, but also then you get a car. You get a car, but then it's like the, you could be dead at any minute. Yeah, any minute. Gone. So he did this like spoof 6 9 music video basically. He did a fake goober thing. And he, you know what I'm saying? He did his little he did his little thing, had a little viral moment. But through the fucking the magic of the internet, the magic of internet clout, off the back of this, he ends up fucking meeting up with 6 9 And I, I think this must have been the first time that he linked up with him where 6 9 reacted to that yeah, video. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> 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 Sorry. Are you drunk? Dude. <laughs> I'm not like him, I actually followed you back. <laughs> so look, he links up with 6ix9ine basically and 6 9 reacts to the shit. Bro, I can't imagine fucking, because bear in mind, I'm watching Steve put in all that shit. Like, I've dressed up as 6 9 bare times. Yeah, so bare like, times. Bro, I couldn't yeah. imagine. My head would be spinning if I actually met up with the guy and he was reacting to my video. I can't bro, imagine. Bro, let alone just meet up with the guy and do that. Now they're actually friends. And it's bro. like, it's made me, not that I'd, I'd, okay, the whole snitching thing, I get why people in the streets don't fuck with that. We can all understand why. 6 9 situation was a bit mad. He kind of had to do it, unless you want him to be in prison for 47 years or whatever it was and be like, yeah, he's a real nigga, but he's fucking in prison. <laughs> it's just stupid. Let's, facts, facts. let's be real. What would you rather do? You'd rather be out and fucking be, get your son a 10 million deal than fucking be stuck in prison and be real. How real is it? Like you're stuck in jail, beating your dick, eating ramen. Bro, and That's whilst, real, whilst, the, whilst the people that you that you didn't snitch on have been fucking your girl, kidnapping you, trying right. to get you robbed. Fuck that. But regardless of that, the one thing that really does annoy me about 6 9 every time something to do with Little Dirk or someone passes and you just see that comment where it's like he's disrespecting it. I don't fuck with that shit. But then to see him with Steve and like see him where he's not doing, he's not trolling, he's actually just being himself. Mm. And it's like, okay, this guy's actually kind of, he's actually, you know what I mean? He's just like a kid, isn't he? He's a nice guy. Same like Steve in a way. I'd rather see that side of him more than just see the fucking hating on people all the time or being disrespectful. It's like, it's only so many times I can hear him say, I oh, suck my dick. But I don't want to hear that no more. You know, I'm entertained by watching you be you for you. I'm glad Steve brought this side out of him. And I think more people should see that because it's like 6 9 comes across in this horrible manner. But at the same time, he's doing it all for the clout. Like, this is how he actually is. Is him just appearing in these Steve videos. It's like he hasn't released music in months, but it's like by not releasing music and appearing in shit like this, it's actually like slowly clearing up his image and hella people are saying like, 100%. I like him now. Cause he's actually bro. not just dissing dead people and being a prick. Like he's actually yeah, I, doing his thing, being kind of fun and funny and just Just normal. being yourself bro. Like it's, as we say all the time, it's cool to be yourself nowadays, isn't it? Like it's, that's what people are, like, are looking for, I guess. Or that's what's popping right now, being yourself. Like, I, I like little Dirk and shit. I don't want you bro. to fucking be going at these people all the time. It makes bro. me dislike you. It's funny because it's like he does that for attention but even you hear Steve say it like now Steve's got to know 6 9 when he brings 6 9 to functions he you always see him on the vlog saying like oh 6 9 he's not like you think he is from all the shit you see in the media he's actually yeah, chill cool. so only a few days before that 6 9 had been in this Nelk video basically surprising people Takashi yeah you fuck him sure. what position probably doggy so I don't have to look at him Whoa, you don't want to look at him? No. <laughs> you wouldn't look at him if he was like, like in real life? I mean, I would have to. Yeah, but... we'll take a look at him. <laughs> I want you to look at him. <laughs> Doggy style, that's what I'm good for. <laughs> she changed her tune real quick, didn't she? Bro, she looks like his baby mum. <laughs> <laughs> low key, low key, bro. She blew it, man, she blew her shot. Bro, she she blew her shot. She could have got that rat meat <laughs> on deck. <laughs> But anyway, so here's the funny thing, right? Steve and Nelk and 6 9 they all got plugged in together. But it was this video that really kind of popped off and was kind of like the moment where it was like a real 6 9 steve collab where 6 9 basically gives Steve this really rare McLaren. Steve calls it the most rare McLaren in the world. And I have a particular interest in this story because I'm a fucking car nerd. I made a car about this exact yeah, McLaren. Well so they painted it in this <laughs> Harrods color because Harrods sponsored this McLaren racing car from way back. Right, right, like right, this right. legendary McLaren. While 6 9 was in jail, he buys this McLaren at auction. So it's Jeez. like, this is waiting for him when he gets out. Jeez. 173 racks. So it actually was for a deal less than these guys are saying it's worth. But that's besides the point. Anyway, I went off topic, got a bit of just talking shit about myself. Anyway, so <laughs> I was super interested in this because this is a McLaren. I've been tracking this car. I'm yeah, a fucking yeah, yeah, dog yeah. for this. You made a whole video on it, bro. Exactly. And so it turns out, 6 9s only gone and fucking flogged it to our boy Steve, dashed it to him after I think they, they either raced for it or he gave it to him as a gift. Oh, yo, by the way, Sean, that's a 1 of 40. Yeah, that, that McLaren is a 1 of 40. Rarer than he thought, bro. Yeah, yeah, when he yeah. said when he said that, I was watching this video because I've done a whole video about this car. I've done one of them, one of ten actually. 
Thanks for your own fucking car. <laughs> this, these rappers are so dumb, bro. They don't even know. You. <laughs> they just buy him whatever. They don't even know how rare it is, bro. Bro, 6 9 can't even drive. You don't even know he got a good deal. So bear in mind, right? 6 9 has got this shit reputation. Everyone thinks he's a prick. He's a rat. He's dissing the dead constantly. So he's got this real image He ain't problem. liked right now at all. Exactly. So this video dropped. Obviously, we've seen him in an elk video surprising people. That's kind of nice and wholesome. Yeah. He's hopped in a Steve video and reacted with him. But I feel like for me, setting aside the car, it's like just this was like a real turning point in 6 ix image. Bro, definitely, man. It's made me see him in a different light. And I, I respect him a lot more. Like, not just from this video, but like just seeing him in a different light where it's not just fuck everyone, suck my dick. It's like I'm actually a real person. Since I blew up, I gave hundreds of thousands of dollars, you know what I'm saying, to people in need. And I always see you give back. And this comes in genuinely for me. I know cameras are on, and I want them to record it because you're such a great individual, you know what I'm saying? And um, just everything you do for people, it's it's godly, you know what I'm saying? And um, you're appreciated by everyone here. Me, Rachel, my brother, Murph, my mom, we love you and we appreciate everything you do. So, this is your McLaren. Oh, 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 oh. I'm getting emotional on this one as well, bro. that young tear cooking up, bro. Bro, little, <laughs> little young tear. They know that to get you with the music, bro, for real. 6 ix turning his image around with this sort of stuff, and ever since this McLaren vid dropped, 6 ix popping up like crazy. Bro, in every video. Like, in every, in every bro, video. Bro, they can't get rid of this rap, bro. I, if, I wasn't, <laughs> if I wasn't, if I wasn't, if you know what I mean, if I wasn't any smart, I'd think maybe they were running some surveillance on Steve. They just deployed 6 ix 9 as an undercover agent. Do you not feel like a rapper who really wants to get 6 9 right now could get 6 9 if he just knows where Steve is? Like, it's quite easy to track him down right now because it's like all you gotta do is find Murder Murph and then find and find Steve will do it and boom. Well 6 9 keeps saying oh I've got no security so No security! No security! No security! Don't brag about that man. Bro, you just ask him to get shot. But look 6 9 popping up in everything. Opening a free food truck in Compton with 6 9 He raced his Lambo. I think that was that was that with 6 9 he raced his Lambo for pink slips. He's doing everything. He got happy ending massage with the He's out here getting happy ending massages. 6 9 Tips and tricks. Go in there butt naked. No underwear or nothing. Get butt ass naked. That's step number one. And basically that's all you have to do. And at the end, if she doesn't like ask you for extra, just be like, yeah. is there do you have any extra? And then you can either you can like that. <laughs> you, you just will you say it in English or go like this? No, look, they'll touch, they'll sometimes just like touch you. They'll say they'll be like, yeah, And then, yeah, yeah, and then, and then they start touching yeah. over there, like make it clear that's like you like it. Like you <laughs> like a little like and then, <laughs> Bro, Steve's so funny, man. This you is can the thing. tell he's fucked up in this video. Bro, he's constantly fucked There's up, bro. He's very as well. But that's the thing, 6 9 loves drinking too. These guys are like kindred spirits, bro. They yeah, both yeah, got peas. They real. both love drinking. Both reckless as fuck. Bro, like, for real. But they both have a heart gold as well. And it's fun to watch it, man. Steve seems to have worked out the, the key hanging out with the rappers where he can. He's hanging out with 6 9 and this one he's pulled out 42 Doug. Mm. Who else has he, oh, he's been hanging out with hella rappers. I'm trying to think who, he pulls up to the studio. Little Baby was with one. Little Baby's in the- I think that might be with one. Yeah, 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 yeah. Little Baby was about. So he's worked out the cheat codes hanging out with rappers, but the irony in this one is 42 Doug comes out and he basically says, oh, 6 9 up in my room playing video six games. 6 9 got to stay out of the way for he this one. He wasn't invited man. for this one. That's being smart. It is smart, but at the same time, it's almost like they're clearly not that desperate to touch 6 9 because he's upstairs playing fucking Battlefield or some shit. Do you reckon they told him 6 9s up there? I doubt it. That's true. But then now we know six. Now we know if you want to touch six nine, he's in the All you gotta do is find where Steve is. Whatever room Steve's Simple. in, you're up there. We ran into 42 Doug. I have a Maybach. I have a million dollar Ferrari here, and I have 42 Doug. While six nine is upstairs <laughs> on my computer because he cannot hang out with 42 Doug. He literally, they're straight out. He cannot hang out with 42. Do you Doug. think he can't hang out with him because it's like 42 Doug will be like, I'm not fucking with that rap, or do you reckon it'll be like there'll be a problem, like beef? I think it's like a little combination of each. I reckon it's like yeah. 42 Doug doesn't want to be seen with a rat. I yeah, think 6 definitely. 9 probably knows that it's beef with 42 Doug and it's almost like, why would I even come down? Yeah, for real. And then also, it's also like, I guess Steve doesn't want to be fucking, he doesn't, doesn't want to be instigating, instigating it. Beef, yeah, bro. not at all, yeah. Imagine Steve's the kind of guy who's just oblivious, would just be like, pull up. Try and break it out, end up getting shot or something. Bro, I'm trying to see Steve do the like, Fulio video or some shit. Get some, <laughs> real, get some real demons on or something, I don't know. Bro, oh man. Hey guys, with like a dart in his hand. I'm here, I'm here to meet fucking, I don't know who's the most most, like who's the most dangerous rapper? I mean, King Von's not around anymore, but that would have been lit. I'm here in the trenches of Chicago. We're gonna drink some. <laughs> I mean, he pulls up to Compton. He does pull up to Compton, though. And he's in the hood. He does pull up to Compton. But he's good that's in the hood, cool. really, isn't he? He's giving out shit for free, bro. Like, he does seem good in the hood. He that's, does seem that's good the in the tip. hood. If you want to go to the hood, just give shit out for free. <laughs> Are you leaving your Rolls Royce at the at the airport? Yeah. Yeah, me too. Are you leaving your Rolls Royce? At the airport? <laughs> 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 yeah. That's funny. Okay. All right, I'll see you in seven. All right, brother.
Yeah. What better way to bond? Bro, for real. The joint leaving of Rolls Royces at, at airports, airport. bro. Crazy. You think one day me and you get there, bro? One day, bro. Bro, one day. come on. Day. <laughs> Basically. <laughs> two weeks. Yeah, bro, bro, come on, come on. Hey, listen, you got to like and subscribe and comment on this shit, Yeah, bro. get this shit up. up, man. Then we'll be, be able up. to do that shit. And watch out. Go, comment below if you want to see our podcast, because we got that on deck. We might see that. We recorded so that before this. I might come to you if you want it. It's there. What do you think these you chairs are for? You got to unlock it, man. Five billion views unlock the podcast. Five billion views. You know how rappers do on Instagram? Damn. Five, I need 10 million comments. 10 million likes, yeah. To unlock this 30 second It works, though. It works, though. Yeah, it does. Yeah, it does. But anyway, look, that's the story of what I think is probably the most exciting bromance in fucking hip hop right now. 100%, bro. Steven 6ix9ine. It's kind of not, it's kind of not even hip hop now. 6ix9ine's been out of the music game for so long. Nice. Of course he's a rapper, but it's kind of like, this ain't even really hip hop content. It's like mainstream just culture, YouTube. It's like YouTube, bro. It's like mainstream YouTube, bro. And it's like, I think 6ix9ine has kind of clocked. No rappers are fucking with me right now. This is genuine and it's, it's kind of better for him. It's sorting out his image, bro. If, if we can get people liking 6ix9ine again, everyone knows I'm a 6ix9ine fan. This is what he needs. So I want to see more of this. I want to see more of 6ix9ine and Steve. This bromance is fire. I want to see fire. as many appearances as possible. And you know what? 6ix9ine, start your own channel, bro, because you could be you could be living, living comfortable. Soldier Boy already done it. He's first done First rapper with YouTube. 6ix9ine is the first snitch with YouTube, though. Oh, that should be his first video. First snitch. There you go, maybe we snitch it for you already, man. But anyway, that's the story. Go binge 6ix9ine and Steve's videos. I literally, you'll catch us all day. Bro, you watch Steve. that shit for like literally Forever. you'll you'll thank us later basically go watch that shit and enjoy it you don't even need to watch it with six time but it's amazing content anyway hope you enjoyed that one do make sure that you like comment subscribe all that good stuff below let me know what ideas you want to see on the channel next if you want to see more honcho some love below you know what i mean unlock unlock that unlock the new Drop thing them motherfucking comments man stop calling me schoolboy q t grizzly all that shit don't call me that shit man i'm, I'm honcho that's it schoolboy t fuck off bro <laughs> all right we're out bow